Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plants. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our horizontal spreads for the next week in April. I've got these washi tapes here ready to go, as well as these sticker books which I'll pull from. Okay you guys, so this week I was in the mood for something sophisticated and just like simple, two color, and I think I was inspired by a spread I saw on Instagram, but I honestly could not go back and find where I saw it. But I just remembered these florals from the pressed floral sticker book being in it and then black. So I just thought, oh, that was a really nice combination. And I thought I would go ahead and see what I could put together here on a horizontal. Pretty sure it was a vertical spread that I saw. So um, yeah, but I was just inspired by the color scheme and the use of these florals so I'm gonna go ahead and try those out here today and I don't really have a plan as far as how I'm gonna lay these guys out on the spread so I'm just gonna go into these sticker books I pulled and see what I can find a lot of the stickers in these sticker books are pretty clean and sophisticated and the color scheme also kind of goes with these softer coral toned florals so that's why I pulled these books, especially because they have a lot of uh, black only stickers, which is what I wanted for this spread. I've pulled together a few florals just to start building on structure, and now I am laying in a long box that I just found. I do like having these long boxes on the spread. They do help give me extra room for those miscellaneous tasks especially those ones that don't go on a specific day. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Normally I put it on the left hand side of the page, but this time I decided to put it on the right just to try something different and see how that comes out. I am also starting to build out more of the florals, just trying to add those around, spread those throughout the spread. I kind of want it to be each section or moment with the decor to kind of have a nice stark black something with those florals. Just the contrast is really pretty and when I saw it I thought it was very striking so I just like okay I want to do something like that this week. And so that's what I'm going to start trying to make happen here on this spread. I'm sticking with three major groups. That really helps when you want to build out a spread and doing things in odd numbers. As somebody reminded me recently in a comment in my subscribers, I normally just kind of do this without thinking about it. And when I always try to do too much, it makes the spread not feel right to me. So sticking with three to five moments or clusters of things is usually the best not going too much over that and kind of containing them too, like giving yourself some white space around them really, really helps. I'm also pulling in some washi tape right now just because I need a little bit more texture, but I'm not really liking this all that much, to be honest. The Washi tape has a tinge of cream color to it because I don't know if it's just because it's old or you know washi tape It's hard to find pure white washi tape. So Yeah, I wasn't really liking that because I really like this stark high contrast color scheme So put that to the side and we'll figure out something that might work or maybe I'll figure out a way to build that in I'm going into my sticker books pretty regularly here, and the one I have now is the Farmhouse sticker book, which I found a few small items in there. And now I'm in the Modern Farmhouse sticker book, looking for some more things to bring in. I'm trying to keep the type of font that I'm seeing as consistent as possible, so I really like that subtle cursive font that I'm seeing in some of these books on that long box. The one that says matters, like that cursive font, that's what I'm trying to find in the books and see if I can bring that in in black. I'm also bringing in some scatter here from the Modern Farmhouse sticker book. 
I think that will replace what I wanted to do with the washi tape for texture. It just is a little cleaner looking and I have enough I think just to give that added oomph to the spread. Now just kind of playing around with some of the things that I pulled, trying to build out a full spread that's both cute but also functional. Always thinking of function when I'm laying down these stickers. I want to make sure I have enough room for you know, a good checklist of items each day. And then I like those boxes for some type of focus each day, whether it's an appointment event or just something I want to make sure gets done that day. I've also pulled in a few smaller stickers with a little bit of detail. That just makes things a little more interesting to look at, so I'm bringing in those in my color scheme and just trying to find happy homes for those. Places where I feel like they work but aren't too distracting as well. Kind of work with the spread versus against it. And just seeing what else I want to pull in here. I think I want to add as many florals as I can without overwhelming the spread, so I'm going to start doing that. I just cut up this one and laid it at the top, and then I really do like to reuse the pieces, so I will try to find another home for this guy here, see if I can make that work. So as you can see, it's kind of building out to be a sort of triangle with Something at the very top center, something on the left hand side, and something on the right hand side. Again, that just really helps with balance. I try to give you guys tips as I go along, what I'm thinking when I'm laying down stickers. You kind of just want to build out things in that formation if you want it to look pleasing. I know that there are other things on the spread that aren't necessarily in that triangle format but the main pieces of it are and that kind of helps keep the spread feeling even and balanced even though it's not exactly. And okay we're going to start moving these things over so that I can start trimming and you know kind of refining some of these elements that I need to trim out and place down. I'm going to start with some of these bigger pieces that usually is helpful. I always have trouble when I have kind of awkward shaped things to move over. I do it by hand because I want to make sure that they're straight and then of course it never goes to plan <laughs> and I always lay it down a little bit crooked so hopefully I can get this guy up so that I can fix it and keep it straight on the page and I'm just using an exacto knife to help lift up the sticker there I'm also going to break out my little cutting board here and then separate the sticker from the page. Normally I would have just cut that with scissors, but because I need to cut down the center, I'm going to do it that way and use my precision cutter to do so. The thing is really awesome. It's very handy. I also need to clean out the holes, which I forgot about until the very end, so you'll see me do that at the very end of the video. And here I'm just trying to reuse pieces as they come up. Again, I do really like to use all the sticker that I can. Waste not, want not, right? It's definitely on the struggle bus a little bit with these stickers hanging off and moving the pages around. And then finding homes for some of these other things. I do normally like to use all the stickers that I have. However, this time around, I just did not want to overwhelm the spread with florals. So just wanted to have some moments, but not like an overwhelming amount. So there was a, 
enough for another spread I think left over on my sticker sheet in the book which is good I if I'm not going to use them all I want to have enough so that I can actually reuse those same stickers on a different spread and just laying in those pieces now Again, try to keep things straight. I really don't like when I lay something down crooked. I notice it all week and it kind of annoys me. So I will take the time to go back and try to straighten things out when I can. And these guys never really found a permanent home, so I'm going to see if I can find a place here on the spread this time. Just kind of putting the wax paper on top, see how that looks. I like that placement there down at the bottom. Now I'm just trying to find a place for this little arrow. And I think I'm just going to stick with this one here and maybe another one across the page. And on a whim, I decided I wanted a little bit more texture, a little bit more of that black, really. So I'm going to bring in some of this washi tape. Just kind of add that in, scatter it around a little bit. Again, I'm not really great with washi placement, but as I was reminded, three or five is usually good, so I just stuck with three instead of trying to fill in more. And I think that was enough. So now I'm just using my Arteza Twin Marker. It has a nice color here that matches up with the florals and drawing in some bullets for my weekly task list. And then kind of starting a little bullet there on the long checklist. And here's where I start to put it in and forgot to clean out the holes. So yeah, there's kind of a little bit of a hot mess here at the end. I also forgot to put in one of those scatter stickers, which I will do at the very, very end on the end credit if you want to see that. But basically once these are done, I am done with the spread. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!